Hello YouTube, I'm uh, here today presenting uh, an exper uh, another experimental stove. Okay, this this stove is based uh, on idea that I saw uh, uh, a YouTube uh, YouTube member Tim Led. He made uh, some sort of stove where he had a um, uh, uh, heat exchanger and a rocket stove with a long pipe here going through the heat exchanger and and leaving to the top, okay, with uh, no interruption in the combustion chamber. And uh, while I prepare this uh, uh, stove that I'm going to show you today, uh, another member of YouTube, a guy under the name uh, uh, Steve Goril, he made uh, uh, a stove that it has a small combustion chamber attached to a gas bottle and another, uh, and then the exhaust pipe. That's what I think. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it is connected. And then it makes here the combustion gases expand over here and uh, they live uh, through the exhaust. What I intend to do today is that I'm using these uh, food cans to make a prototype. Okay, this comes here inside this one. As you can see, there are holes in both sides. This time, I'll try to make the exhaust pipe combustion chamber at a lower position in comparison to the exhaust pipe. Okay, so they are connected like this way. Here, in this can, I removed a bit. Okay, I just bent with the plier so they can enter easily. The combustion chamber is composed by two, two small cans. They are attached by a simple uh, wire. I did this, this at the edge to uh, make some sort of a vortex. Okay, this is going to come here inside. And uh, uh, I think this idea can be a bit more explored to make, uh, to improve better combustion of the wood. Okay, like uh, uh, like in a, in a uh, in a hose for a burner or something that uh, to improve take ideas from there. Now this is the exhaust and uh, the exhaust okay this comes from inside uh, the idea is to we have here the stove okay exhaust pipe comes like this way combustion chamber comes like this way. okay probably they can even overlap a little bit like this way sorry like this way they can overlap like this way and so Air has to circulate more in the uh, heat uh, within the heat, heat exchanger before it goes uh, out. Okay, I'm going to assemble everything, light it, and we'll meet in a short while. Uh, okay, we are back. The stove is working. Let's take a look inside over there, inside the fire chamber. I don't know if you can see the the fire. Okay. And now the body of uh, the stove is smoking because it is burning all the materials that uh, the cans are, are made of. Uh, also it is burning uh, very little smoke. Very, very little smoke. You can see here the, the materials in the cans are still burning also from the outside and from the inside. Now uh, I uh, can say that uh, this uh, stove was a, uh, was a success, this, uh, this uh, experimentation. Uh, in this case we have the, uh, the exhaust uh, tube or uh, the flume, it comes up until here. Combustion chamber goes until there, so they are overlapping somehow. Okay, and um, I wonder if we turn the stove around with the combustion chamber up here the chimney down there let's see what happens and uh, uh, another thing that I didn't say is that uh, Tim Lady has uh, a stove in his current uh, configuration there's a system where the exhaust pipe come until here as well it works more or less like a buffalo and he has some slots in the exhaust pipe but uh, his uh, heat exchanger, it is his uh, combustion chamber. 
Okay, so he lights the fire, uh, not like this system. And so, okay, let's see, no smoke now. They also here around the stove, the heat exchanger. Well, it is fairly hot. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, batteries to see how hot it is with the ther a thermometer. But uh, no smoke. Okay, let's go now and see the other configuration. Okay, in this configuration that the combustion chamber is at the top and uh, here the, the chimney pipe, uh, the exhaust pipe is at the bottom, it doesn't work so well. You can see now that uh, the stove is, is working. This is just a bit of paper. I didn't manage to light it. It, it smokes here a bit in the chimney. It, uh, it will uh, burn for a little while but then it's very difficult to to maintain the the combustion it's uh, it's it's not the same as in the updraft uh, uh, configuration okay i'm not able it's difficult to light the wood and the, and, the, and then everything the fire is extinguished by, by itself okay Okay, I return back to the downdraft uh, configuration, the updraft configuration, sorry. And uh, in the downdraft, uh, it was very difficult. I tried to light it in the different ways. I didn't manage uh, with the, the updraft configuration. It is, uh, it is immediately, it starts uh, burning immediately. Here there is even a bit of wood that is um, uh, wet and uh, <laughs> water is boiling out of it and uh, you can see there is a little bit of smoke still but uh, I just now uh, lit the uh, uh, the stove okay um, uh, I suppose that the uh, combustion chamber can be greatly improved probably with uh, looking at uh, examples of uh, hoses uh, to burn uh, that are used to burn gas Okay, like in burners and, and such, and uh, we can uh, take some ideas of probably from the jet engine and put here secondary air, primary air, and uh, we have here a big space uh, that uh, we can make a vortex and uh, fire to heat up where there is a, a fire with high temperature to warm up the heat exchanger. Okay, thank you for watching.